Rockhampton, the beef capital of Australia. Home to many a head of cattle, some more static than others. In the remote farms around here, producers frequently can go a full year without manually checking on their livestock. But now old MacDonald is using tech to get daily status updates. No, the cows haven't started their own WhatsApp group. They're part of a system that uses a field full of gizmos to inform farmers all about their herd's health. At its heart are these solar-powered walkover ways. So the cows walk along here and they get weighed on this smart scale. They're identified through an RFID tag on their ear, which is read through a sensor on this wall. And it means that the cows need never leave their paddock. The farmer need never leave their office. They can sit back and remotely monitor the growth of their livestock. The scales could save time and money, alerting the farmer of cows ready for market, or if they've lost weight, which ones need a feed supplement to beef them up. Sometimes you'll see during a drought period that weight line will start to go down and that's a good indicator that you're not getting enough uh, nutrition to your animals and you can get that early indication from the weights much quicker than you can if you're doing it by the naked eye. 20% of the calves um, don't turn up at weaning and there's a whole range of different causes, it might be disease, it might be wild dog attack. Uh, but we don't actually understand that. So we're using um, the calf alert device as a research tool. And so that goes into the back end of the, the cow and sits there um, quite happily until that cow's about to calve. And as that calf is pushed out the back, this thing pops out and uh, hits the ground. And then the radio signal being transmitted out of that is picked up by some antennas that are placed around the paddock and tells us that, you know, that that cow's actually had that calf. Of course, not every farmer wants to implant devices into each of their cows. Some may prefer earrings and necklaces, wearables that can track specific behaviours and, crucially, monitor for disease. They could even reveal eating habits and prevent overgrazing by inferring how much grass is left in their paddock. And, depending on how the cows move, if they're in labour or if they're being stolen by rustlers. Uh, we've developed algorithms that can actually detect when an animal is moving in a paddock such that it's being interfered with by somebody trying to muster it up to a set of yards to put it on a truck. Researchers have also developed smart water pumps so troughs can be automatically refilled. Farmers can gauge how hydrated their animals are and how much water they're actually using, crucial in periods of drought. Properties can be measured in the square kilometre instead of a hectare or an acre. So we're dealing with thousands of animals spread over very large landscapes and so you could be driving for hours every day just to check on whether there's water in a trough, whether the fences are broken and uh, may not even see an animal during that time. So if we can provide um, an automated way of getting them information without leaving the homestead, that's a massive saving in time and labour. Stud producer Jeff Maynard is a local third generation farmer who's been trialling Central Queensland University's technologies on his prized livestock. Preventative measures, uh, which this greatly helps. If you can prevent that from happening, identify it early, you're so far in front, the cattle are in front, then if, it, uh, if you're trying to be on the back foot and react to something. You know, if you can make your cattle happy and content and healthy, um, your production your rebreeding, um, the quality of your product is all connected.